So today I've been riding the Delight Mountain, uh, full suspension bike, single battery. So this is the Delight, not the Super Delight. So Super Delight would have an extra battery in the top here. Um, and I've chosen this bike really because uh, we've headed up to the Mulvans to do some of the mountain bike routes that they've got here. Now, the difference between the Delight Mountain and the standard um, Delight GT Roll-Off is basically this is a stripped down version of the bike, um, really made for playing for sports. It's a really, really good toy. Um, essentially, that means we haven't got any mudguards on the back. Um, it doesn't come as standard with the rear rack on it, and it does come with these uh, far wider tires that are on here as well. Um, as standard as well, the Fox Float suspension is on there. So this bike, when we're riding it off-road, is absolutely superb. And we found probably where this bike is actually better than the um, Delight GT Roll-Off. And that's got to be on some of the big hill climbs. Although it is the same bike, so same frame, um, same suspension that we've got across them, the big, big difference is the tyres that we've got on there. So these have got knobby nicks on them big wide tyre with an open spaced pattern on them. It flings the mud out and has a lot of power to bite in as we're climbing the hills. And we found when we we're on some of the loose um, ground with the leaves or um, sort of mud, this one will bite in, whereas the tyres on the, John, or the Johnny Watts tyres on the um, Delight GT Roll-Off tend to get caked in mud pretty quickly. And for us, that means as you then try to put down the power, you've got this big slippery disc of mud that just zips up each time. On the downside uh, with this one, the tyres are very big. So when we're riding along the road, this is pretty sluggish. Um, so this is pretty much an all out off-road toy. So if you're looking for toys, this is probably the, the right bike to go for. On the bike today, the version that we've got, this is actually called a Delight Mountain Touring. So this is the entry level specification of this bike. Um, it comes with a chain of cassette on the back here. So um, it's a, let me wait two seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. It's an 11 speed bike <laughs> and the biggest chain ring on there is a 50 tooth so it's got really really low gear and again we found that as you start climbing the hills you can really just get all the way back down and stay in the saddle and just keep on climbing and climbing and climbing. The chain and cassette is absolutely brilliant it does mean that this is a lighter weight bike so lighter than the um, hub versions of this bike um, but I guess the downside for people would be the maintenance that you've got to do. So you do need to oil it, you will need to index the gears and it is gonna chew through cassettes and chains over time. The preferred option that most people go for when they buy the Delight uh, Mountain is actually the roll-off spec of it. So this exact same bike, you can then have with a belt drive on it and a 14 speed roll-off hub in the rear. And then the second option that people go for is then the, the second battery. And that's really what makes these um, Riesen Muller Delight and Super Delight Mountain standout bikes way above specification of all the other bikes out there. It's that twin battery and the roll-off hub options that are absolutely superb. Standard specification on this bike also includes a dropper post. Um, on here we've got oversized um, discs on the front. So I think we've got 203 um, discs on the front with MT5 brakes. On the back, we've got an MT4, probably looking at that's probably a 203 uh, mil um, rear disc as well. So quite uh, powerful braking that we've got. And of course it comes with the Bosch Performance Line CX, CX motor with the 85 Newton meter of torque and 250 watts of power. And standard battery in here is 625 watt hours. This bike is fitted with the Kiox display, and that's this little thing here on a magnet that sits onto uh, the handlebars. If you are looking for a toy, something really sort of lightweight and straightforward, the Kiox is brilliant. However, today we have come along with the um, Delight GT Roll-Off that has got a sat-nav on it. So Rufus has been taking the lead and telling us which way to go getting it wrong most times. Um, so we've been following him with his sat-nav, which has meant we haven't had to keep a map in our pocket. But then having said that, we're in the Mulvans and there's three routes up here that are all signposted mountain bike routes. So you could quite happily get away without having a sat nav or a map if you didn't want to. And another option on this one, these bikes, so the Delight Mountain comes as standard with 
lights on there. So there's a rear light hidden down the back here, uh, really sneaky little light, very, very bright. Um, but most importantly, it's got this massive um, headlight on the front as well. And that is obviously connected straight into the battery as well. So it's pulling power from the battery the whole time. The bike comes in two different colours. So depending on whether you go for single battery or dual battery. Um, so single battery, you can have this, which is called Chili Matte, or you can have, I think it's called Urban Grey, which is the other bike that we've got just over here. So that's our single battery bikes. And if we go for our dual battery bikes, so our super delights, then we can go for the Tundra Grey, which has always been the, the most popular colour, um, or I think it's called Warm Silver Matte um, is the other colour. So different colours across the two um, different bikes that are available, um, but all of them are are really, really nice colours, especially I do like the, uh, the red matte paint uh, that is on this bike. Stands out. So on this bike as well, um, we're fitted with these um, really nice pedals. So they've got these studs on here. So metal, stu metal pedals with um, studs in there that you can take out. Downside of those, uh, we found out very early on, they're really good for ripping your trousers um, and they take nice big chunks out of your shins, but probably the best use of them is as you're dropping downhill, your feet just bite onto those pedals and they are not coming off at all. So uh, it gives you a lot more confidence as you drop off the side of the hills. When people come into the shop, I sort of describe this bike as being um, a toy. Um, essentially, is, that is what it is. And I sort of ask people what type of riding they're going to be doing. Most people are sort of saying, I'm going to be doing a bit of commuting, a bit of trail riding. Um, and I push them towards the um, Delight GT Roll-Off or Super Delight GT Roll-Off. Um, not many people sort of come into our shop, specifically Reese and Muller, saying, yeah, I want the toy. I want, you know, the really, really good um, off-road bike. Having ridden this today, this bike is absolutely superb and it outstrips the Delight GT Roll-Off every time with the off-road riding experience. I'm gonna blame these t thin tires, but just skidding everywhere. I'm just gonna film me falling off when I'm here. And I've done some really good fun descents on this where you can just let go of the brakes. The, the travel on the suspension is brilliant. The tires are so big, they just planted to the floor the whole time. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it actually is. Probably a bad thing, it does encourage me to go a little bit too fast. <laughs> and it does mean that I will fall off it at some point, but then, hey, that's, that's part of riding the bike, isn't it? <laughs> 